Caluchi is back Woo! on the crew show, my G. Let's get back to it. That's the intro by DJ Fuse over what there. What a remix. Burr, burr. Wow. Yeah, fire, right? Yeah, I love How it. you feel? How you feeling? I feel good. How about you? We're feeling good, man. We're all right. We're stressed out. We're depressed. We're oh. happy. We're everything, oh. right? We're all at once. Okay. Yeah. We're, <laughs> we're, like, great she's like, that's a yeah, lot. That's, yeah, that's, that sounds like you need to talk to somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it does. It does. We're talking to you. <laughs> Yo, man, uh, we saw you at Coachella. Congratulations oh, again. We you. saw you at Coachella. You came out during Tyler's set. That was crazy. Oh, thank you. You feel good out there? Yeah. yeah. It was it was cold. It was cold that night. It was cold that night? It was very yeah. cold. Um, the last time we saw you was at Coachella as well, and you were like, sorry for being late, but it wasn't my fault. <laughs> oh, that was second weekend. Second weekend second I was weekend. late. Yeah. And then you decided to kill it. Second weekend was so crazy. Oh, my gosh. That weekend was so stressful. Yeah. But first weekend was great. That I feel like crazy. first weekend went, went way better than second mm-hmm. weekend. We were backstage, and I don't know if you remember, but you were walking off stage. You're huffing mm-hmm. and puffing, right? Because you just killed it. You're sweating, and here I am giving you a high five. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a blur. It's all a blur. Yeah. I know, right? No, okay. So you don't remember. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's cool, though. We got that out the way. Oh, we got that out the way. Let's, that out the way, let's move on to uh, Orquidas is out, man. Let's get it. Yes. Thank Yo, you. the album is fire, man. Thank you. What a sound. What a beautiful sound. Aww. You gave birth to a, a sound as well. This is two kids now. Yes, that's <laughs> yeah. true. Right? Is that how it feels? Releasing um, an album? Giving it to the world? Um, I, w- I wouldn't compare it, no. A lot of people do compare it. I know a lot of artists who feel that way, but I wouldn't compare it to childbirth, no. No. It's not. No, childbirth. It, I mean, listen, childbirth is a different thing. It's not, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I've seen it in person. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um. I I feel like when I release an album, it's not that, it's not ever really that serious for me. Wow. Yeah. That's good, because... That relieves a lot of pressure that a lot of artists put on themselves. Yeah, because it's it's art. You don't know if anyone's gonna like it. You don't even you don't even know what's gonna happen the second yeah. you hit send, right? Yeah, I think I kind of just I just let go after I know that you know I've done everything that I can. You just kind of let go and see yeah. what happens. And... Me pongo locas crazy. Oh, thank I you. Love I love that song too. I feel like that song is slept on. on That's one album. of the favorites, man. I love no, it. for real, it is slept yeah, on. I'm like, song. yo, this could be on the radio right now. Too easy. Yeah. But yeah. you don't put it on the radio. Why is that? Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Hey. Tell him. Tell him. I'm not in charge of the music. <laughs> 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 DJ A or Doc Winter? Tell him. <laughs> let me write DJ Amen. I'm going to write down the names. It's Doc Winter. It's DJ A. Okay, okay, DJ okay. Let me know. Let me know. Okay. Tell I'll go, stop, I'll go stop by their, their little office. Well, we'll go to their office. You can bang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Okay, I like we'll that, man. iHeartRadio, man. Let's go pay attention. Outside of the radio, though, you gave us a lot of club records. I also mm-hmm. feel like now in Meso Moet, there's a quinceañera record. Oh, you feel me with, the, with that merengue vibe at the end. That's a great way to end the album. Oh, thank you so much. What, yeah. what, what inspired you to do a merengue record? Um, well, for me, when I was making the album, I felt like I just tried to experiment as much as I could mm-hmm. with other Latin genres that I had never touched before. Mm-hmm. I had never done that before, but I feel like it's such a big part of our culture, you Absolutely. know, family parties. And so it was always a dream of mine to be able to make a song like that. And it just, when it happened, it just happened naturally. So it made sense to close the album yeah. with it, it you know, like a big celebration. I felt like the album was just a celebration in general. Yeah, um, no, nah, I just felt like yeah. a wepa moment. You feel yeah. me? Wepa, <laughs> wepa. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when uh, we had Alicia Keys in here in studio, and mm-hmm. I asked her, you know, who's an artist that you want to give their flowers to? Guess and she, she said, said you. Bro. Oh, wow, really? She yeah. said you. And I just want to oh, wow. know, like, has she ever reached out? Do you think there's a potential, like, collaboration that could happen with that? No, I'm a huge fan. Yeah, I love Alicia Keys, but I, I had no idea. Yeah, she she's, like, down to do something with you. Oh, she wow, said that she, she wants wanted... to give you your flowers. Oh, she admires sweet. you. Yeah. How sweet. Wow, I had no idea. Damn, you didn't know so you don't watch her interviews? That's, That's crazy. crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nobody told me. Nobody told me. Exposed right now. Nobody told me. Yo, Kelly, I was gonna say. I was gonna say you would have seen that if you followed us on the gram. Oh, crazy. We're not here to be petty. We're not here to be petty. We're here to celebrate. Chill out. That's funny. They're gonna eat us up in the comments. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, with orchids, we're sorry. With orchids, you know, there's always this message that it represents like beauty. It represents fertility. It represents just like calmness. What was your like? Was that the intention? And what is your favorite thing about like spring? time because of again like your instagram post the album cover obviously gives off that very much springtime vibe yeah i love well i love all the seasons but i feel like spring for me is very special like i feel like before i even go outside i could feel when it just turns spring like i don't mm-hmm. know something about it mm-hmm. just activates me like i could really feel it and um i don't know it's just it's just beautiful the birds chirping you feel like a different type of peace and a different type sure, of happiness yeah it's tranquility yeah. it's in the air yeah yeah but when you keep crazy too oh thank you love that song man thank um you. there's so many songs on the project where you're going back and forth right it's english it's spanish right which is
is very important to yeah. you, right? Uh, and I know when it comes to this project, you went you went against the grain to make it happen. Yeah, I feel like always when I do my my Latin projects, this is my second this is mm-hmm. my second album in Spanish. And they told you you couldn't do it, and you said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyway." Well, when I did my first one, that was the one that was the hardest. I feel like Sin Miedo was definitely harder than Orquídeas because sure. since I since I already did it with Sin Miedo, they, everyone was a little bit more like, "Okay, yeah, go for it," you know, do it, try it again. Mm-hmm. But I think it's always you know trying to navigate like two different. Um, you know, like they call it like the Anglo market versus like the yeah. Latin market, you know, it's like different worlds. Um, it's a balancing act for sure. No, it really is. Yeah. What was the easiest song to write on that project? Where you were like, wow, that was easy and that came out great. Um, I think the Mata probably happened the most, the most naturally. Mm-hmm. Uh, where I just, I, I just wrote that, you know, with no, no music. I just, I just wrote it and then we produced around it. I think songs like that are the most easiest. Heladito's crazy too. Thank you. Yeah. I love that song. You're, you're, um, is it submissive? Is that the word? Are you being submissive in it? Am I being submissive in that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're what saying you t- what, you what you like, you right? Yeah, I like. I'm trying to remember the lyrics. Hmm. You're like, I would, yo, I've been in my tacones all day. Right, right, right. Mm, yeah, I wouldn't call it submissive. I would call it more like, yeah, it's very feminine. It's a very mm-hmm. feminine song. Um, I think a lot of the album is about like femininity, having standards as a woman, accepting good things into your life, and you know, letting it be known, you know, what you want. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of which one, what are some green flags for Kali Uchis? Green flags. He always got the funny questions. <laughs> <laughs> green flags. Oh, they're funny. Guys. <laughs> 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 that means they're stupid questions. Yeah, I know. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Sorry, dog. <laughs> I asked them too. Questions, no. Uh, green flags. I would say a green flag is somebody like I think when you notice that somebody's considerate. I think consideration is probably the biggest green flag. Consideration mm-hmm. for your feelings, for your yeah. space. Consideration. Yeah, man. The yo, the joint you did with Peso Pluma, crazy. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, was that a vibe in the studio? Or was that just an email session? No, that was more like yeah. We sent him a few songs. What are you feeling? I was really excited when he picked that song. I was not expecting him to pick that song. Um, it's different. Yeah, it's very, it's very different, different for him. Yeah. So I was really Which excited. maybe why he chose it, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So that was the most exciting part to me was kind of just wondering, oh my gosh, how is this verse going to sound when he turns it in? But he did a great job. Did I really job. did. No, yeah. I feel like a true artist welcomes different productions because they get bored of like doing the same shit all yeah. the time. And I yeah. think the true artist is like, yo, you know what? It's so different. And I'm down for the challenge. Yeah. yeah, and it's nice to be able to bring people into my world because I feel like I'm so versatile as mm-hmm. an artist that sometimes I'm I'm worried can somebody, you know, jump on one of my songs and really find a way to balance mm-hmm. themselves into it. And he did it so perfectly that yeah. I couldn't have asked out. him to do it any yeah, different. It just yeah. worked out, right? Yeah. How long did it take to get done? Does he send the verse right away? Uh, how long how long did it take for him to send or it? Is it didn't it a text take long. Like, hey, Papi, where's it at, doggy? <laughs> no, 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 he didn't. Hey, Bonsai, where it at? Bonsai. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to remember how long he did it. He didn't take a long time. He was pretty quick with it. Yeah. And then after he turned in his vocals, I just kind of like mixed them in with mine a little better. Did a couple more ad libs of my sure. own to to blend them better. Um, but yeah, it was easy. How many songs did you have to pick pick from for this project? Like, there's obviously a lot of songs that didn't make the cut, right? Mm-hmm. And all those songs are sitting there. Yeah, I would say. I, I would say I don't have, I normally have a lot of different demos, but I would say this album, there was probably the least extra demos, because I even was thinking about doing a deluxe, I was going to do a deluxe, and then I was like, mm, I really don't have that many extra songs. Yeah. Yeah. So not that many. Not that many. Yeah. Not that many to you is yeah. a lot to us. <laughs> <laughs> so you, a thousand to you is like, holy shit, you know what I mean? There's yeah. No, it wasn't, us. I would say it was like five, like. No way. Yeah. Most of the songs that I made for the album, I felt really strongly about in that moment. Mm-hmm. Um, I have other albums, like the album that's that I'm about to get ready to roll out. I would say that one definitely has like a lot, a lot more to right? make a deluxe. Yeah. What, what's mm-hmm. the most exciting thing about a rollout for you? Mm, I think just I I love like I'm a big fan of new beginnings. You mm-hmm. know, I just mm-hmm. love a new beginning. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. New beginnings are here. We got you a gift. You might yeah, open it. Yeah, I know. It? So sweet. Open it yeah, really let's quick. open it. Really quick. And we always come correct. It's in the brown bag. <laughs> yeah. Cali Uchis is Thank here. You. you guys are so giving. You always give me things when I come. It's giving gifts. You know what I'm saying? It's giving it's gifts. That's what I give you. Know you're always giving gifts. Aw, what is it? Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it oh. around. 
It's like a laptop. Oh, it's a llama. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, like you can your put laptop? your like, laptop oh, on okay, it. Cute. Yeah. On your oh, little laptop. so cute. Thank you. You know, actually, the, the llama llama people reached out to send a bunch of books for the baby. No way. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's yeah. great. Oh, we beat them to the punch. And then you guys sent with your Yeah. Aww. That's your own. You know, your llama llama red pajama I here on the it. cruise show is... Probably the most legendary, most viral one. Aw, mm-hmm. oh, thank you. Man, I Very mean, good. what that did... Um... Oh, wait, there's one more gift. Yes, there is. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> for the baby. <laughs> nah, your llama llama's crazy. You got fans waiting for you to perform it, too, after I the know. show. Do you see those TikToks yeah, of no, your fans I, being I, like, I, wait, she hasn't when, done llama llama yet? I have seen it. Hey, is it love-hate, um, though, with the llama llama? No, I love it. I love it. Um... It's funny because you guys remember I didn't even want to do it that day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm so. For some reason, every time I have press, I'm sick. I'm not sick this time, but I was like, yes. no, I'm sick. I don't feel good. I don't feel well. confident about my voice. And we're like, dance, and, sing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and even after not we did it, it, even after we did it, I was like, no, let's not put it out. I remember? remember? Like, I didn't even want to put it out. And we're like, no, it's fine. You guys, you guys say that to everyone. Was, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, like, me. You yeah. give everyone time to like rehearse it, and you're giving me no time. We're like, we promise we don't. <laughs> yeah, because I had no idea we were even going to do that that day. And it's funny because I seen a comment of a girl. She's like, "This is clearly staged." Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. This is clearly staged. I was like, "Oh my gosh, was it good like that?" Like, I really even after it came out, I didn't think that it was good. Yo, it's fire. Oh, now you know so it's fire. Sweet. Yeah, it's so sweet because it just it's just a reminder of like sometimes the things that connect the most with people are really the things that are just off the top, like the most natural. Mm. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. That was extremely organic. Yeah, and you gave it your best, and it came out. And it Amazing. was vulnerable, and that's yeah. what people connect with. You you know what I connected with your pobre diabla uh, rendition. Oh yeah, thank fire, you. Fire, dog. It's, it has like love or hate. It has like love or hate type of fans. <laughs> yeah, man. People either hated it. Or so it. you in the comments often? No, I would say I was. Like at that time, I yeah. definitely like I was like so cringed by that cover. Like when I would see it sometimes show up on when I used to use Twitter, <laughs> I'll be like, let me not scroll down because <laughs> I just know it's gonna be people <laughs> hating it. I feel like it's like that with all covers in general. So yeah, yeah. Course, covers are hard. Yeah. yeah, you know, and and I do want to say, Kelly, you know, the Lama Lama Red Pajama Challenge started here on the cruise show. Um, you know, it's a bit, and it's bigger than us. It's it's worldwide. You know, parents use it to introduce hip hop to their children. Aww. They use it in classrooms. Your voice is in classrooms worldwide because of Lama Lama, 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 Lama Red Pajama. And we don't make a dime off of that. I was about to say, so are you getting, like, you want to cut? No. Or was... <laughs> Kelly, we don't make a dime off of that. I heart might, but we do not. Yeah. We do not make a dime off of that. And it, there's pure intention behind that bit. And we're just thankful that you're a part of it with us. Mm-hmm. So sweet. <laughs> For real, man. What's up, Jack? Um, when it comes to femininity, I know you mentioned that, you know, it's very important to you. And I feel like that's what resonates with a lot of your fans. Mm. How do you still try and channel it without being like, okay, like maybe today's not the day for that? Mm. Well, I feel like for me, I don't, I don't like try to overthink anything. Like when Mm. I make music, I try to just, you know, do what feels natural, do what comes, um, to me in that day, in that moment. So. Mm-hmm. I never feel that it, that it's a force or that it's like I'm like even when I started making music mm-hmm. and people would be like oh you know like I've never called myself like oh I'm a feminist or like I'm part of this movement mm-hmm. or anything people just kind of put that on me because mm-hmm. of the way that my music is but sure. I, I had never even thought of my music that way like I it wasn't an intentional that thing that means I think honest. it's happening organically because you ooze that yeah. I think I feel like I just happen to be a woman and I'm really I'm really proud of of other women and so people put that title like oh feminism da 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 but I feel like it's just you yeah it's just me You're her, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah I don't feel that I subscribe to like any any type of title yeah. for sure for sure uh, Chick Fil A we still supporting Chick Fil A <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding I'm kidding that's I'm just kidding. tough yeah, 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 tough question tough question <laughs> nice question it was going good Next dog. it was going good uh, <laughs> yeah. I will say this in true Latina form we have a baby right back to work congratulations yeah I love that oh yeah. thank you it don't stop Kelly just gave birth and was on a stage ten minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was that quick, man. Yo, Hilarious. congratulations. Thank you. We love you here at the Cruise Show. We value Aww, your time. Come see you us guys. anytime you know that. Thank you. Let's get it. Cruise Show, Real 92.3. Yo, check out more of our YouTube interviews now. ASAP Plus. Download the free iHeartRadio app so you can check out the Cruise Show podcast.